What is deep water? Well, depending on where you're at, that's all relative. If you're out with some saltwater angler, you can easily be fishing 200 feet down over 700 feet of water or more. If you're in the Midwest and on some dark water natural lake, you might not fish deeper than 10 feet all year long. And what is deep water anyways? You talking about how far it is to the bottom? Or are you talking about how far the fish are off the bottom? Some fishermen might think 20 feet of water is deep, but in actuality, it's only the length of a good sized boat. And to the fish, that's only a few tail kicks to travel. Yes, at times fishing in the depths can be mystifying, but in actuality, it's a lot simpler than you think. Today on The Edge, James and Nick Lindner step into the deep end of the pool at Lewenberger's Cag Lake Lodge up in Sunset Country, Ontario, exploring the depths for multi-species mayhem, walleye, pike, and giant lake trout. The two move out off the standard shallow water basins into deep ditches and beyond, searching out fish-filled zones directly below the boat. It's bound to be a great show as James and Nick share some valuable insights about the ins and outs of deep water fishing. Beautiful. Boy, those guys, those fish are so tough. Look at that thing. Closed captioning is provided by Smooth Moves, adjustable boat seat suspensions for a smoother ride. Well, we have a nine hour drive ahead of us, Nick and I in fishing lodge we're going to Lewenberger's Cag Lake Lodge and this should be an interesting mission. Nick how many fly-ins you been in with me for? Zero. Zero, Zero fly-ins. Okay yep. how many lake trout have you ever caught before? I've caught a few lake trout. Yeah. Okay well we're gonna be targeting walleyes, northern pike, and lake trout of which they have pretty big ones of all of the above. Here at the lodge we have five cabins, full running water, flush toilets. Um, if there's a head in every bed, we can hold 40 people. Uh, we have full American plan, so three meals a day, two hot meals, and we'll send you with a lunch. Or modified American plan, which we bring you dinner, you supply your own lunch and breakfast. Or housekeeping plan, which you can make your own schedule, bring your own meals, do your own thing. Uh, Loomberg has also had 16 outpost camps. They've been running outpost camps for close to 60 years now with the flight service. Cag Lake's a very big body of water, has multiple species in it, pike, walleye, lake trout. The Pichuan River that flows out of the lake has brook trout as well. It's a pretty deep body of water for the most part. Uh, some areas out there are close to 140 feet, which is good for the lake trout. Uh, multiple islands, lots of rock reef structures, humps like that, so it's a lot of, a lot of structure to cover in a week. You know, we just got to in at uh, Lewenberger's Cag Lake Lodge, and the camp manager, Steve Clark, is gonna, came out and was gonna run us around the lake, give us a little bit of idea, the layout of the lake, uh, more or less how the fish are, what they've been doing lately. But it was sort of interesting because he sh came up into this hole in here, and he says, this is a really good lake trout hole. And we started driving over the top of it, and when you look at the depth finder, you can see what's in this hole. It has a tremendous amount of forage, but not only forage, but uh, piled up with alternate species. We're just seeing lots of big hooks in here. And the interesting thing is, is in this type of situation, you, you don't really need a lot of complex gear to catch fish. And what we want to share with you is uh, just a couple of ways to how to catch some deep water fish in a Canadian lake. Whoop, there's one. I don't know what he is. It didn't take long. <laughs> the jigging wrap came out. You get in this deep water fishing like this, huh? That was on a uh, fire tiger jigging wrap. This segment has been brought to you by Donlinger Automotive, and they want to encourage you to drive safe on the road and on the water. The best performing electric fillet knife for both fresh and saltwater anglers. With our trusted non-slip grip, the Bubba Electric Fillet Knife provides the precision, control, and flex to fillet any size fish. 
Let the adventure begin with Lund's all-new Adventure Series. Check out the special introductory price on the all-new Adventure Side Council. Features include a center rod locker and rear jump seats. There's also an optional ski pylon. $17.75 and $16.75 is also available with a full windshield or get the $16.75 in a tiller. Lund's Adventure Series. Your adventure awaits. To find your nearest dealer or to get a free catalog, visit LundBoats.com. limits to what we'll do to make sure you have no limits either. Introducing the all-new V8 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. This segment is brought to you by Sunset Country, Ontario, Canada. You gotta come visit. I think we got I don't know what he, we got here. Yeah, no, lake trout, laker. Yeah, laker, look at that. Wow, come here. Look at that guy. He just crunched on it. Whoa, whoa. I think he's, he decided he's got, whoop. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> I was like, wow, wait a second, wow. And I tell you one thing, I haven't caught open water lake trout like this for a while and I forgot how, how tough they are. <laughs> They're a workout on, on walleye gear like this. They're t tough, boy, they're tough hombres, they are. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's starting to say. There we go. Oop, boy, there now he's coming up fast. There he is, there. Oh, yeah, there you can just, you wanna just leave him in the wa water and I'll gr yeah, grab the pliers if you can get him out of there. Catch a variety of different species. You got walleyes, big pike, and famed lake trout. Boy, are they beautiful. Look at the colors on that thing. We'll get her back in the water. Beautiful animal though. Come on, buddy. Look at that thing, whoa. Back down she goes. Thank you, sir. Not a problem. For vertical fishing like this, there's a variety of uh, different baits that work really efficient for that because obviously we're trying to, uh, primarily what we're doing is sight fishing with our electronics. We're not really dropping anywhere where we don't see fish. Steve has been just simply just moving over the tops of the fish and when we see a big school of them, we drop to that approximately that depth level. But the jigging wrap is a really highly efficient bait for that because it drops really quickly. But you can use jigs as well with soft plastics are pretty efficient too. The thing is, is those, those real high ones, those are the ones that are feeding. You notice that we see in a lot of uh, fish that are big, you know, big fish down, really down deep in the water column. And most of the time in these really deep water basins, when those fish are really active, they'll actually come up pretty high in the water column. It's surprising on how high you can actually catch them. Well, that, what, everything we've caught has been 25 feet or approximately, so yeah, it makes sense. We haven't caught any of those deep ones yet. Where was he at? See, a new, po new pod. Bottom. Bottom? Right on bottom. Oh, you were right on bottom. Yeah. So you want your little buddy to get a gnat for this affair? Yeah. 
Wow. That's a nice look fish. at that. That's a pretty fish. Wow. Look at that. I can't believe it. Is she going to come right to that? Oh, wow. That's all right. Wow. She even cooperated. I can't believe it. You were really manhandled that one, didn't you? <laughs> so on, my, on my wallet here. What's that? Well. Is it? <laughs> oh, wow. He, he really he came up off the bottom. Yeah, right off the bottom. Okay, go. Look at that thing. Boy, he's our little fat, so. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Yep. Real nice fish. Get that line clear. Yep. You know, one thing to be really successful on a big lake like this, uh, CAG is almost 20,000 acres. And, you know, throughout the course of a season, the fish make pretty dynamic movements. Uh, as I was speaking to Steve, he was saying, you know, what happens is because the lower end of CAG is actually the big shallow flatwater basins, and that's where a lot of the creeks come in. And a lot of these fish spawn on main lake points and as well as in these where these creeks come in. Uh, throughout the summer, like where we're right now, or late, late summer, a lot of the fish are really sort of moving towards the deeper water basins. In the uh, west side of the lake, all along this side of the lake, is the deepest ditches. So throughout this time, a lot of the fish are actually moving out of those shallow water basins and really surrounding this deep water ditch that runs along the whole west side of the lake. And that's where we caught all the fish. The interesting thing is everything's in there. That's where all the deep water forage is at in those deep ditches. The lake trout are in the basins of these things, but the walleyes and the pike are around the perimeters of this deep water basin on this side of the lake. Prime rep. <laughs> Can't beat that. You know, you come up to these Canadian lakes throughout the summer months, like right now, Nick and I are up here and it's uh, early August. So a lot of the walleyes are really located, you know, around the deep water main lake basins of the lake. And it's sort of interesting in the fact that when we came into camp, a lot of the uh, guests and guides said, well, a lot, a lot of the fish are holding at like between the 18 and 25 foot level. Now that's sort of relative, uh, classic, back trolling what we're right doing right now on main lake points and sunken islands will work really efficiently but the other thing you have to realize is a lot of times what these fish do they'll be at the same depth level but out over deep water you know you get on any of these banks we've been driving around with our depth finder as soon as you find fish and we're just taking a classic 3a sounds moon eye jig and a small big bite jerk minnow like this and Nick's been fishing a jigging wrap and we catch fish everywhere. I mean, you drive around, you find a pot of fish, you drop down and you catch them as fast as you, you see them. The other really uh, cool pattern for really catching really bigger fish actually is uh, suspension. In a lot of these uh, deep water lakes like this, there's a lot of deep water forage, ciscos and tulabies and a lot of the bigger fish are feeding on those. But the interesting thing is, is they're just suspended over deep water and a lot of times they're at the same depth level is what you're catching them, catching them along the bank. There you go, those are the ones. That's what we were catching right there. That's what it was, yeah. Oop, look at that, got, got him too. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. At Mercury, we invested thousands of hours of engineering manpower so you can enjoy hours and hours of untapped horsepower. Introducing the all-new V6 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. From it's gonna be a snowy day season to this baby can handle it season. Fleet Farm has everything you need because right now, it's make sure I've got traction season. Let's get this house toasty season. Break out the shovel again season. Time to bundle up season. And of course, did someone say fish fry season? Fleet Farm is built for every season. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Help your marine engine run smoother and last longer with Marine Pro from the makers of Seafoam Motor Treatment. Marine Pro is specially formulated for all types of gasoline marine engines. Marine Pro works to clean fuel passageways, cleans and lubricates critical upper engine areas, protects from the harmful effects of bad fuel and corrosion, and stabilizes fuel up to two years. Just pour it in. Fast starts and smooth running power have never been this easy. Marine Pro is available now at Fleet Farm.
Bubba has designed a fillet knife for both fresh and saltwater anglers. Nice. With our trusted non-slip grip, the Bubba fillet knives provide the precision, control, and flex to fillet any size fish. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. There you go. I don't think. That's a real rod bender. Yeah, I don't think this is, this is Mr. Lake Trout. This could be a while. Yeah, wow. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. I like that. <laughs> it's fun fishing these. That's one thing that's so cool about this system. When you get out over this deep water, it's everything's out here. You got the, the, the other thing, they're the biggest fish that exist in the lake. You got the biggest walleyes, the biggest northern pike, the biggest lake trout are all keyed in on that deep water forage. The thing is, you, you know, you think you have to use really big lures. They're actually eating, we usually, usually you saw soft plastics like with a moon eye jig. You know, there are a variety of different uh, weights, you know. Buddy, look at them. Wow, That's look at that thing. Fish. Boy, are they beautiful yeah. fish, aren't they? Look at that thing, gorgeous fish. I'll tell you one thing, catching them on this type of spinning gear, they're tough, they're tough, they're tough customers. Get them, Nick, get them. There you go. I'm just leave. you catch a big one. Yep, yep, just leave them in the net, unhook them and. Nice fish. Ooh. The fun part is, they get, a, they get a lot bigger than this one. You know what's sort of interesting? You know, we travel and go on a lot of Canadian trips like this, and one of the most invaluable tools you can bring up here is a depth finder like this. This is the Helex 7, Hummingbird Helex 7. But the biggest thing is, is what this has on it, it has a base map that, because uh, this lake is not charted really accurately, and what's really nice about that, the first day we came up here, uh, Steve Clark, the uh, camp manager, drove us around the lake and dropped down coordinates. And you can see I have coordinates uh, scattered around the lake. He says these are really good high percentage spots for walleyes, pike, and lake trout. But the biggest thing is for navigation because when I zoom in here, though I don't have a, a depth map per se, I still have the perimeter of the lake. I have a lot of the major islands. But the other thing is that's really nice about this unit I have something called Auto Chart Live. When you're, we're moving around here, I'm actually making a, an accurate one foot contour map of the lake, which is absolutely just fabulous. Look at that there. We just came across some fish right there, but you, as you can see, I'm making a map. And as we travel and move around the lake over the next three days, we're gonna build a pretty good uh, map to actually the underwater contours of this lake and it's just an unbelievable tool for this type of fishing unquestionably i would not come up to these type of destinations and the thing is this is actually our ice fishing unit this is something that we actually carry for ice fishing so it's portable and unquestionably you don't want to drop it right to them the biggest thing is you'll see when I'm dropping down on the depth finder, there's like a stack of them right there. But when you see my bait come into view here, right there, you'll notice where I'm stopping it at. I'm stopping it at like three to four feet, five feet above where I'm seeing the fish. And you want the fish to come up. It seems like a lot more when they come up to hit the bait, they're more apt to hit it versus dropping it right at their level. Is that you, Nick? I'm right above that second one. Oh, there he Whoa. is. Whoa! <laughs> there we go. Yeah. They sleep over there. Head this way to the job site. And the big ones take their lunch break right about now. The Solix series, with our most powerful innovations from Mega Imaging Plus to Cross Touch to Auto Chart Live on our largest screen ever. Fish might call it an invasion of privacy. You'll call it a busy day for your live well. Only from Hummingbird.
Megafy your next Minn Kota motor with built-in Mega Down imaging and get the clearest Hummingbird images from the best motors on the water. You want more Angling Edge? Well, our Facebook, YouTube, and website are constantly being updated. It's like overtime of your favorite show. Check out the store with the brand new apparel. And purchase five DVDs at the incredibly low price of $25. That's five DVDs for just 25 bucks. Place an order at anglingedge.com. Hey, you just gotta visit Sunset Country. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. The other thing you'll notice that we're not really doing a lot of really jacking the bait. We're actually just holding the bait pretty st relatively still. You just get it to that level and position the bait above them. And we're just pumping the bait, just move, not doing a lot of really dramatic movement, attracting maneuvers for the, for the fish. It's sort of an odd thing. You'll sit there and you'll move along and all of a sudden crunch. There's a, a couple of different ways you can actually do this. You can actually drift over these deep water basins or because it's relatively flat today, I'm actually just moving with the trolling motor, just back trolling. When we see a fish at a specific level, we'll just drop down, but we're sort of just moving around. You can actually just drop the bait down to 25, 30 foot or whatever depth level you see the majority of the fish and just fish, just like if you're fishing in 15 to 20 foot of water. The only thing is you're just fishing suspended in the water column. It's really the kind of lake where you could really go on a multi-species adventure. It's hard to just stick to one. To me it is, I, I, like bouncing, I like bouncing around, fishing for pike for a little bit, fishing for the lake trout, fishing for the walleyes intermittently throughout the day. Right? Intermittently through the day, experimenting, you know, you get into a good area, you know, especially because this is a pretty good sized body of water and there's so much uh, just water to explore. And that's one of the funnest things to come up on an adventure like this, is actually exploring new water, figuring out new, techniques and new locations to catch fish. Oh, oh, I got one. Wow. That's a big one. I got a big one on. Now, did you hook them down in the bottom? Yeah. Here. No, forget about that. Pick up this other line. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's a real boy there. <laughs> Gorilla. Holy mackerel. Whew. Could be a good one. Whoa. Hope he's hooked good. Oh yeah, that's one thing with Knock. blade. You know. Knock on wood. Just got his head up. I got. He came up about ten feet. <laughs> that's yeah. right. It's a. Ooh. Yeah. That's a nice fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> what? What do you think about him? There we I go. Like it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Nice. Cag Lake, smoking. I'm not kidding you. Look at the size of this guy here. What a Holy beautiful cow. fish. Wow. Come here. Look at that. Watch it, Nick. Watch it just out of there. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Thing nice there. fish. They're tough. <laughs> yeah, they're tough. We'll get her back down. down. Let's get her into the water. You know, if you've watched this show for a long time, you know, two things are an important part of my daily life. Fishing in the fishing industry, the business, I've been fortunate enough to make a living in it my entire life. It's been good to my family, and I just love the business, and I don't ever plan to get out of it completely. Maybe I'll slow down a little bit, but I'll stay active in the fishing business. And the other things is the Word of God. 
anything to do with the Bible and the Word of God and, and, and things that documented, people that challenge it, uh, this stuff fascinates me. And uh, my spare time goes into reading a lot of books. And I love to read, by the way. And uh, this is a, was an interesting one to me. It's called Confidence in Christ. And it is not written by a biblical scholar that's been in the ministry all his life. I'll give you a little background on a guy. Mike Bradfield is an engineer with a master in science degree in mechanical engineering from Iowa State University. He has over 30 years experience in the industry and holds over 70 patents. This is what the book is about. Confidence in Christ is by an engineer by profession starts in the beginning of time and then walks chronologically through time, pointing out exciting scientific evidence in support of the Christian faith in an easy to understand format while addressing issues such as the following. How did the universe begin? Does the Big Bang Theory eliminate God? Did God really create the entire universe in six literal days? How did life begin? How do dinosaurs fit within biblical timing? I love that one. Did we evolve from apes? And what are human genome studies revealing? How old is mankind? Millions or thousands of years? Is there credible evidence outside of the Bible for Jesus? Is Jesus really the prophesied Christ? And this thing, it was just fascinating reading to me to substantiate every one of the points I just read to you. Now, this is not light reading. This is not for the average per person, but I want to encourage many of you are really into this stuff like I am. And if you're in a full-time ministry, you need to get this book and read it. You're going to see and hear things that you never learned at Bible school. I guarantee you that. This guy is out on the street, and, and what he has found and revealed in here is amazing to substantiate everything that is written in the Word of God. The two of them go hand in hand. This is kind of a different closing. But again, if you're in a full-time ministry or really fascinated about proof of the things of God and, and, and everything related to it, documented, you want to pick this book up. Not light reading. You're going to scratch your head, but you're going to love it. And you're going to come away with a different outlook on life. Hey, from all of us here at the edge, you have a good safe fishing season. We'll see you on the water. Hey, I want to take a moment to thank you for watching. And if you really like what you see, we got a whole lot more. So check us out at any one of these online outlets. You know, in fishing, there are good days and there are great days. Time is just a wink from the Almighty. We plan, target, rig, and play the game like everyone else.